Happy New Year! Um, welcome back. My name's Michaela. for those of you who are just joining us. And my channel is getting a bit of a reboot for 2018. Hopefully you will enjoy the new content, but I'm gonna kick off with a wardrobe organization and tour kind of thing. Um, so yesterday I spent an incredible amount of time, I think it was about five hours, let's just say it was an entire day, uh, going through all of my wardrobes. So these wardrobes are Ikea Pax wardrobes when we moved in a year ago. It was the one thing I put up this in the bed um, in our room. In fact, it's pretty much all we've got in here to be fair, but it was the one thing that I was like, this has to go up day one. I had been measuring, re-measuring, um, changing things around online because you can basically choose exactly what you want on the internet um, from Ikea and you can kind of build it and see how everything looks and see what kind of storage combinations you want. It's amazing. Um, and it was the one thing I was really, really excited about when we moved into this house to maximise what is a very, very small bedroom. This was as close as I was ever going to get to those kind of American Instagrammable closet systems. And I thought I would share it with you for those of you that maybe have not got a massive, massive space, but also for those of you that are wanting to get that kind of all American closet system look. But you live in the UK and it's not really viable. We don't tend to have kind of walk-in wardrobes. If we do, then it's a real luxury. It's, it's a converted bedroom. I have actually moved a lot of things in and out of this. In the year that I've had it, I've swapped, I've put in drawers, I've swapped out kind of hanging rails. Um, that is the beauty of it for me. If you are a big changeaholic and you like to, you know, I mean, especially at New Year, I am massive on refreshing and um, just changing things to, for things to feel fresh and new and this cl whole closet is like absolutely perfect if you are like that like me. So let's get into what is inside these cupboards. So this is my main wardrobe. This is where I house the majority of my clothes both in hanging space up here and in the drawers down here. Now the hanging area I would say the one thing that I've gathered from so many different closet organisation videos is these velvet hangers. They are just amazing. I actually once made an entire video about these velvet hangers. I get it. I mean, they snap all the time. They are so frustrating. They are always breaking. They are very, very fragile. However, they do massively help to maximize the space that you've got for hanging. So if you don't have a lot of space to hang clothes, these will be a game changer. This is actually a makeup trunk. I'm not using it right now. However, when I've make, worked with makeup brands in the past and I've had to keep a lot of things that are not necessarily going into my collection, I am intending on using this for that storage now. I've got some boxes downstairs in the living room that are hidden, but I don't really want anything like that in the living room. So I'm trying slowly to use this as my everything storage. This is a box from Glossier. I've actually got stuff in here for like empties and disappointing products. So as I went through yesterday and got rid of a ton of stuff, I was just putting things to the side that I may want to talk about in future videos. These are just completely randomly perfectly sized for this. I think I got them from Asda or Tesco, I forget. I think it was the supermarket that I got them from, um, but just really, really useful. So in here I've got like new product stuff I haven't used before. Uh, that I just want to remember to either review, photograph, or actually use whatever. Um, here I've got kind of nail polish and stuff. I have got a big basket of nail stuff downstairs that I also need to do a big purge on. Um, this is all hair stuff. And then this one on the end. Why I went in that random order, I don't know. Does that say something about my personality? Bit scattered. Uh, and then on this one is kind of like moisturizers and body oils and things like that. Behind here, I've actually got two, again, empty boxes. And then a little area, especially for gifts that we for some reason didn't want, that we could re-gift. They are mostly kids things, like stationary stuff and things like that, giving away some of my secrets. Um, I've got this drawer, which is basically all jeans. Um, and then this, which I just struggled to find where to put this. This is all masks. Basically, yes, all masks. Um, and some kind of treatment type things. I've also got some um, microfiber towels in the bottom of here that I didn't want to get rid of, even though I don't think we're going to use them very often. But I feel like it's the kind of thing that I bought it for a reason. Yeah, okay, I didn't use it, but we might need it again in the future. You know, if we ever went on a really, really super compact beach camping trip, can't see that happening. But they don't take up a lot of space, so I decided to keep them. The middle drawer is currently empty because I, in my reorganisation phase, and genuinely right now I can't remember what used to be in these drawers. 
I really don't remember. The middle drawer is now going to be for the light that I'm using to film, my camera equipment, anything that I want to use for YouTube basically is going to live in this drawer because I think in this year um, I'm going to be filming most of the time in my bedroom and so I wanted it just kind of here uh, where I can get to it and it's not taking up any space downstairs so that is my plan and then the bottom drawer is just kind of underwear and stuff and underneath that I've got um, some flat shoes. Behind the flat shoes I also have small boxes which has got storage of skincare and things like that in it um, but most of them are empty because I went through and got rid of a lot of stuff a lot and so I've got a lot of potential storage now where there was kind of junk and what is in there kind of thing that's what took me so long I couldn't believe a year is a long time to amass a lot of things in hidden places in a wardrobe I recommend you do this this week if you haven't done it in the last year this I would probably call a medium exciting wardrobe. So we've got the shoes, we're excited about the shoes, we'll talk about that in a second. Then we've got um, some storage for some coats and lesser worn things, so like sparkly skirts, dresses, stuff that I just don't need to be in my main wardrobe cluttering it up, I already struggle to find something to wear, I don't need to be competing with a fur coat. So all that stuff goes down there, I've also put in um, a laundry basket that used to be on the landing and I decided to squeeze it in there just to kind of make some more sense, again it's just a way, I love just being able to close the door on something and not look at it. So it's just a way. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but it's a way. Um, then this, this shelf right here, this is like a, it's one of those necessity functional shelves as opposed to a pretty shelf. So although I'm really glad I did this, I hid all of the wires from my TV kind of along the wall in one of those like ugly white strips, but it's kind of hidden, it's fine. I hid all of that and um, shoved the wires and the DVD player and the Apple TV and all that stuff in here. I've also got this tower that I've shown you before that I take on holiday with me, amazing. It's just basically like a, it's like an extension lead on acid or something. It's crazy. Uh, if you are struggling for outlets, highly, highly recommend. Um, I basically charge all my cameras and stuff there and you know, stuff that I wouldn't need to be out. It's in there, hidden away. Uh, so that's kind of all DVDs and things. Um, for those of you that have been following me for a while, since we moved into this house, the internet is not fantastic. So having a DVD player in the bedroom, because we always watch TV at night, is an absolute essential. Because sometimes Netflix just doesn't work. Really, really annoying, but it's true. Um, and so that's why we've got so many DVDs and an ancient DVD player. The shoes! Let's get to the shoes. We're excited about the shoes, guys. The shoes are my favourite part. Um, so I have... These are kind of black and brown and daily wear kind of thing, so mostly boots and stuff. Up here are more sparkly shoes, pretty, pretty sparkly shoes. Um, back there I've got some trainers that I don't use so much in the back, some Converse, and these are hats. I don't really wear hats. Lee tends to tell me that I look a little bit silly in hats. I just, like, all I want in the world is to find a hat that doesn't make me look like a knob. Why? Why is it so difficult? I think it might be a lifestyle thing, I just don't see me in a hat. I just really want to though. I'm not really over hats, but I think they're pretty over me. And then right at the very, very top we've got shoe boxes which have nothing in them. I have the shoes on display and I want to keep the shoe boxes, but it's a complete waste of space. And at last we have got two, my favourite wardrobe, or well, what used to be my favourite wardrobe until we moved the bedroom around. Like I say, this room is very, very compact and it's been in a bunch of different configurations and this is probably the best one for us. We've got the world's smallest, and yet a lot of all the storage in here, the world's smallest bedside tables. I actually covered them with marble paper recently and it gave them a bit of an uplift and I feel less terrible about them now. They're supposed to be bathroom cabinets, um, but we have those either side of the bed because it's basically all that will fit. So we have one of those each and this door will now perfectly open and not touch the side of this bedside table, which is Lee's. That being said, if anything's on the floor next to it, which frequently happens, I have to move that before I can get into the cupboard. So this used to be my like, ah, cupboard, hence the light. And now it just is a bit awkward to get into. And so I've decided that rather it, than it be that kind of special cupboard that it used to be, it's actually got to be a little bit more functional now. So it keeps most of my favorite things in here, but it has lost a little bit of its sparkle. So I think I may at some point rejig things so that maybe this stuff goes into the end cabinet and this one becomes hanging. That's what I think I might do at some point. Um, now for those of you that are wondering, this is actually the 50 centimeter cabinet. Um, the main one is the 100 and the one on the end that I just showed you with the shoes in is the 75. And what you can do is get separating section things 
so that you can put 50 centimetre things in either the 100 or the 75, so that's kind of something I'm thinking of doing. Uh, but for now, let me just show you what's in this one. So like I said, we are kind of struggling for space in this side of the room, so I'm going to have to kind of awkwardly show you what's up here. Um, but right at the very, very top, I've just got a couple of larger bags and some water stop spray. Here is my jewellery in kind of like some trays and boxes and stuff, and then I've got some more that's the sensor for the light. I've got some more jewellery in this old toiletries bag. Again, some more bags. I think I've got some belts in there and some stuff, again, to like look after bags. So this is like suede and rubbers and all kinds of things for various ailments that handbags might have and leather things. Um, then I've got some sunglasses. This is actually a necklace holder that Ella, not Ella, Emma bought me for Christmas. If you saw our Vlogmas 1, which was our Secret Santa gift guidey thing, the £5 thing, I think this was from New Look. Or Primark, could have been Primark. Um, and I decided to use it for sunglasses because I don't wear a lot of necklaces and jewellery and stuff. Um, so that's what I've got there. Then behind here, this is all kind of hot tools and things. I forget what's down there. I think like dust bags, I think I decided to keep there and just kind of hot tools and hair things that I'm not using very often. All of this is basically all of my lipsticks. I've also got a little lipstick caddy thing there in case I might need it. And then, let's move slightly further down to one of my favourite things. I love it so much. I want so many of these. This would actually be really, really good for shoes. And it's something that I'm considering doing for, um, I just, I, <laughs> again, the change, the changeaholic in me wants to change this completely. Um, once you've lived with a certain configuration, I feel like then you go, oh, you know, this would have made mo so much more sense. I could do it like this. You know? Um, and that's kind of how I'm feeling right now, that there are so many better ways that I could have done this for me and the stuff that I've got. Um, and so I feel like, especially for flat shoes, this would be great. You're not, there's some stuff in there that I just don't even know what's in the back of it, which is why it took me so long yesterday to clear it all out, because these are deep wardrobes. Um, another, another thing to mention is these are the extra height ones as well. So I, I can't remember what it is, but there are two heights and these are the tall ones because we've got really high ceilings. And again, trying to maximise the space in a small room. So this is basically all sunglasses and accessories. So I've got some, this is uh, my all-time favourite, sparkly, sparkly wallet. Um, so about accessories and stuff that I want to keep in there. Just, you know, in case I want to have them to look at when I'm not using them. I pull out the tray and I'm like... <laughs> I still get that little that little moment of art. Uh, and then down here I've got makeup. So all of these drawers right down to the bottom are makeup. This top one is kind of a bit of a jumble, but basically I've got travel stuff, so like miniatures of things if I'm going away for the weekend or just need something small. Um, some brushes, I've got lots of travel bags. So again, with the travel makeup, I can just pull something out, throw some stuff in a bag and I'm done. I've even got like travel toothbrushes and stuff in there. I've got some perfumes, I've got some tweezers. I cannot be without a pair of tweezers. In fact, to the point where I obviously couldn't find tweezers over the months. And when I went through the house and found boxes and boxes of things that I had to eventually put away, I found so many pairs of tweezers. Because I can't like, I just can't. I now keep a pair in my purse and I refuse to take them out of my purse because I need to know where there's one pair of tweezers. This whole chin hair situation cannot go unchecked for like a week, no, no, no. Um, then I've got all of like eyes basically in the next drawer and then the drawer down from that is kind of face. That's, that's pretty much how I am separating things for now, but they definitely need a big purge. There's way, way, way too much stuff in there and um, I need to go through because I don't really want to have any more makeup storage than that. Um, I'm trying to now put things away so that I kind of shop my stash on a regular basis because what was happening was I was just getting tons and tons of boxes and bags and they were being spread out everywhere. I didn't know what I had, I didn't know where anything was and I wasn't trying new things because I was just gravitating back to that box of things. So that is my new plan but let's see if that actually works. So they are my wardrobes. I do have storage elsewhere for pyjamas and sheets and stuff like that. Um, but that's basically it, everything else is in here and I really am trying to make it so that everything else is in here. All of my stuff. Obviously Lee has a wardrobe in this configuration as well, but my answer to it's mine. He has a one 100 centimetre wardrobe and I've got one a 75 and a 50 because he's lovely and he knows that I need more storage than he does. Um, so that is it, that's everything. I hope that this has inspired some of you to get organising your own stuff because I really, really needed a kick 
this new year. Um, I, I've been really excited to do it but the motivation has been lacking uh, and so I just switched on a ton of videos like this whilst I was doing it and yeah I see, I can't even believe how long it took me yesterday. Um, so hopefully, hopefully some of you can just do it super super fast and it's not been like an age since you've done it like me uh, but if it has I definitely recommend watching some organisation videos and just like house tours, closet tours, I love it, I love it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. So if you have, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, all the stuff people say, and I will see you guys on Thursday with Best of 2017.